I have to stop watching so much TikTok, you guys, stop. I have. Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, I'm Sheree, welcome. If you happen to be returning, you are truly appreciated. Thank you so much and welcome back. Today we have a really fun video and it's gonna be a long video. I'm gonna try and not make it long, you guys. I try to stop myself at like 10 and then I was like, but I gotta share this and I gotta share that. So I think I got 15, but I'm gonna make it quick. I promise you, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on notes and everything like that because everything that I am sharing with you today, Pretty sure I have a full dedicated review on, so if you want it more in depth, more details, search the fragrance and my name and we shall appear like a genie, but not in a bottle here on YouTube. On this channel, I do cover fashion, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle, all things, okay? All things fancy and fabulous dwelling. So if that sounds like something that you'd be into, stop what you're doing, hit the subscribe button, but don't stop there. Tap the notification bell, it will alert you every single time there is a new video or a post on this channel. Without further ado, we are jumping right in. Shrek, would you like to tell us what the video is about? Of course, dwelling. From the title, you can see I am going to be sharing with you some of my top niche fragrances. I get a lot of requests. What do you think about niche? What do you think about designer? I like them both, okay? I don't wanna choose. Who said that, Cardi B? I don't wanna choose. I like niche, I like designer. I like it if it smells good. That's what it is. I'm not a fragrance snob. If it smells good, if it makes me feel some certain type of way, I will rock it. It is what it is, I said what I said. Okay, you guys, coming in no particular order. When it comes to a niche fragrance, any fragrance, I look for it to do two things. Make me feel a certain type of way and smell good, okay? That's what I look for it to do. I do want it to perform. However, I do not mind reapplying, taking a decant with me, um, but I'm not gonna pay a huge price tag for a fragrance that doesn't last unless I just absolutely love it. Okay, now that we have that out of the way, one of the first ones that I wanna share with you on this list is How the Fetty. If you've been watching the channel for any amount of time, you already know that this is a beautiful fragrance, very rich, very elegant, very upper echelon, high class if you ask me, and I absolutely love it. Pin Halligan's fragrances just make me feel a certain type of way from the luxuriousness of the bottle all the way down to the presentation of their website. It just makes me feel rich, fancy, and fabulous. A few notes in this fragrance. It's a warm, spicy. It has oud, bergamot, saffron, jasmine. Beautiful fragrance, you guys. This is something that I would highly recommend to add to your niche collection if you're that oud, warm, spicy type of person. I move on. Not gonna spend a lot of time here because I just spoke about it in my The Only Five You Need. And that is Creative Ventus for her. Absolutely love this fragrance. Fruity, crisp, floral, fresh, soft, spicy, rose, sandalwood, beautiful fragrance. I hashtag this fragrance. If you're that girl, you're that girl. And I'm that girl. And like I said, the girls that get it, get it. And the ones that don't, Everybody doesn't have to be the same. We can all be different. I move on. Everything is not for everybody. Who said that? Everything is not for everybody. I'm just saying. This hot, sexy, fiery fragrance. I spoke to you guys about this when, it first when I first received it and found out about it. Head over heels. I took this fragrance with me everywhere. I had to get pictures of it. It's all over my Instagram. I absolutely love this fragrance. It's a warm, spicy, man, woman, boy, child, human can pull up and rock it. Jasmine, saffron, ambergris, a lily of the valley, sandalwood, oak moss, birch, okay? It is a hot, hot, fiery fragrance, and it is very, very sexy. Yes, it does have reminisce of Baccarat Rouge 540, but the hot and the heat in the fiery furnace of a fragrance that's in here, the bottle is just hot. It's a very hot, sexy fragrance. So reminisce to Baccarat Rouge 540, yes. Smell identical to it or trying to be a dupe of it? Absolutely not. This stands on its own feet, okay? And it is good, good. I move on. The longevity, unreal. Another one, okay? I am waiting to get the full bottle. This is something else that's going on my fragrance list. Good Girl Gone Bad by Killian. Absolutely love this fragrance. It's sexy. This is a fragrance to me that I would wear out with the girls. I have worn it out on date night. I have worn it out on girls night out. It is one that's gonna catch your attention. It's a fruity floral. It's jasmine, rose, oak moss, a tube rose, cedar. It's a beautiful fragrance. All I have is the decan. I do have to get the bottle, but I bought this one. It came with a beautiful travel case and it came with four decants of it. So I still have about three left, but I absolutely love this. And if anybody was asking me what niche fragrance to have in their collection, just like a one and done and easy reach, I would definitely say good girl gone bad because I am a good girl, but every now and then she does like to go bad. Hello. <laughs> I'm having so much fun. I'm so happy to see you guys. If you're happy to see me too, make sure you hit the like button. Don't forget to share the video and make sure you're following me on Instagram. Back to the video. I don't care how many people have it. I don't care how many people rock it. 
can nobody do it like me. What are you talking about? This one here, Santal 33 by Lilabo. I absolutely love this. Ever since I got this fragrance, I fell in love with it and I have been spraying it like crazy. This is a huge compliment getter. It's woody, leather, it's a warm, spicy sandalwood. This right here is good, good. It stands out every time. And a lot of people do know it because when I went into the restaurant and I was wearing this, the girl was like, Oh my gosh, you smell good. And then she goes, what are you wearing? And I go, Santal 33. She goes, I thought that's what it was. It smells amazing on you. So like I said, no matter how many people rock it, do not let that detour you from rocking it because there's only one you and there's only one me and can't nobody do it like you. I move on. Another sexy one. This is from the house of BDK. This is another one I would say is amazing. This is Grizz Charnel. This is absolutely amazing. I slept in this a couple of nights ago. Fig, cardamom, iris, bourbon, vetiver, sandalwood, tonka bean. This is sexy, it is rich. It is creamy, it is long lasting, it is a beast on my body. It holds it tight and it never lets it go. And for that, I would highly recommend Grish Chanel by BDK. I move on. Another one on my list is this beautiful Oud Roll Sexy Combo, and that is by MFK. That is Oud Satin Mood. It is an oriental woody fragrance. It has a Bulgarian rose. It definitely has some Oud in there. It has depth, it has vanilla. It is a little bit on the powdery side, some would say, but it is absolutely fabulous, darling. It is so sexy, so intriguing, so inviting, so long lasting. If you mix this with Tom Ford Pink, Tom Ford, what did I say? If you mix this with Tom Ford Rose Prick, come back and thank me later. It is good, good. This I would highly recommend. I move on. I told you we weren't gonna waste a lot of time. I told you, I told you. Another one by the house of Tenciana Terenzi. This is Andromeda. This is a beautiful fragrance. I think this would be beautiful even for a wedding day fragrance, you guys. Ylang Ylang, Jasmine, cut grass is in there. Violet leaf, rose, pear, heliotrope, coconut, amber. It is a beautiful fragrance. It is a very different fragrance in my opinion. I tried to compartmentalize it and put it in date night. I didn't find that it really worked there for me, but for a day brunch, a day evening, like, you know, when it's kind of like four-ish, you know what I mean, it's getting into the evening but it's not really gonna be like a late date. This is something that you can put on and it just makes you feel pretty. I would definitely categorize this in a pretty girl fragrance. It is absolutely gorgeous. Oh my gosh, and it's so long lasting. And it actually, instead of just being a pretty girl fragrance, it's luxurious as well. It made me feel fancy, it gave me luxe vibes. I would definitely wear this to the uh, Peninsula or to the Wardle for like afternoon tea. It's definitely given those kind of vibes. That is Andromeda by Tenziana Terenzi. I move on. Let's just talk about these two right now, right out of the gate so we can get them over with. Yes, I'm recommending both of these for the niche fragrances. My favorite out of the two is the one with the almond note and that is this one here. Baccarat Rouge 540 by Maison Francis Kirkjohn, the extreme version. I love this fragrance. It is perfect for any time, anywhere, any place. I wear it year round. If I run out of the original Baccarat Rouge 540, I will go back and repurchase it. If I run out of the extreme, I will go back and purchase that or repurchase that as well. To me, they are just both that good to having your collection especially if you love the brand, if you love the fragrance, you cannot go wrong. This one has ambergris almond in it. This one has a saffron ambergris. Beautiful, beautiful fragrance. They are both easy reaches. I wear them both year round and they will always be a part of my niche collection. I move on. I'm gonna say these two right off the bat too. From Parfums de Mali, Delina Exclusive. Yes, Dueling and Delina the Original. Now this one is gonna give you more of the rhubarb, the lychee, the nutmeg. It is gonna have that sour tart note inside of there. That it does offer sparkly, effervescent, upbeat, pretty girl type of fragrance in my opinion. That is the original. And then you do have the exclusive here. This is gonna give you the oud and the rose combo in there together. Still having the rose, but it is a little bit deeper, a little darker, a little sensual, a little heavier. It does have that depth to it in this fragrance. It gets on the body. The longevity is amazing. They are both beast when it comes to performance, beast when it comes to longevity. Siage, scent trail, compliment getters. If you're looking for it, these two will offer that for you. I kid you not, I, they are worth having both in your collection if you like them both. I love the sour tart, I love the oud and the rose, so for me it was a no-brainer. They were both worth being in my collection. I move on. Another amazing, sexy, I, all these fragrances have, I like to say, I like what I like, I know what I like. They all have like oud, rose, caramel, uh, and that is this one here. Another one, the House of Siage, Passion de l'Amour. You cannot go wrong with this. I absolutely love this fragrance. It is absolutely gorgeous. Date night, I've worn it. I wore it on my wedding anniversary. I wore it on my birthday, um, and that was in August. To me, you can rock this year round as well. It's beautiful, it's so sensual, it's so sexy. Oh my gosh. You know those ones, fragrances in your collection that you have such an amazing memory with that you just take the cap off 
And you're like, oh, you had to take it there, didn't you? And I did, and she did. I have to stop watching so much TikTok, you guys. Stop, I have to. Oh my gosh, but it's so good. And this fragrance is absolutely amazing. So yes, I would highly recommend this. Now this one here, I would say you should like or you would need to like for any of these. You know, like I said, some of the fragrance notes that I was able to share with you, Oud, um, Latrix, Absolute, Caramel, Raspberry, that's all in this fragrance. It's a beautiful fragrance. Definitely, definitely a sexy, heavy hitter. Date night is where I compartmentalize this fragrance as well. I move on. Everything will be linked in the description box. If I have any discount codes, I will link those there as well. I hope this video has been helpful and informative. When it comes to niche fragrances, when it comes to designer fragrances, I typically just buy what I like, whether it be a niche or a designer. Sometimes I do find that I am more drawn to niche fragrances, probably because they are a little bit different, but that's not always the case. And I also wanna mention this as well. Just because a fragrance is a niche fragrance and it has a higher price tag, doesn't mean that it's a better fragrance than a fragrance that's a designer fragrance with a lower price tag. I have had designer and I have niche. And I have had some of my designers perform better than some of my niche and some of my niche perform a lot better than some of my designers. So it's all personal preference. Whenever shopping for a fragrance, I always say if you can, and I understand everybody cannot. And I do understand that a lot of people really enjoy blind buying, but if you can, I will always encourage you to start with a sample, especially if you're spending something upright of a pretty penny on a fragrance. All of these here, like I said, will be linked in the description box for you below. If you want more in depth detail on it, always check my name and search the fragrance. I have spoken about all of these fragrances time and time again. These are my first set that I would recommend to you if you were asking where should I start when looking for a niche fragrance. They're all gonna be personal because fragrances are subjective. So it's all gonna have to go based off of what you like. If you notice the common theory in the fragrances that I shared with you today, a lot of uh, oud, a lot of rose, a lot of saffron, ambergris, oat moss, birch. I like it hot, I like it heavy, and I like it strong. And I like for my fragrances to make a statement. So when shopping for your fragrances, I know some people are like, girl, you're going real deep right there. I'm just saying, I'm passionate about it. So I wanna share with you as much as I can and be informative. When shopping for your fragrances, find what matters to you, what you want your fragrance to say. Every time I go somewhere, I don't wanna run through the door. Sometimes I'll reach for something that's a little quiet, a little soft not often, but sometimes it happens on the rare occasion because that's how I'm feeling that day. So I would always say, if you can, start with a sample. If you have any questions, I'm always happy to answer. If you want a part two, three, or four, I can do that as well. Leave it in the comment section below. Do not forget to let me know your sin of the day, how you're doing, what you're wearing, and what videos you wanna see next. Don't forget to come over and subscribe and follow me on Instagram as well. And I will see you beautiful souls in the next one. Until next time, you know the drill. Be blessed, stay fit, and definitely stay fabulous, darlings. Thanks for watching. Bye.